Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we are going to be putting Amelia to the ultimate test to see if she can get the full solo on the Hell version of the Red Demon. So we've got Amelia, we've got the Tarmiel Association, and I thought with Tarmiel's Association, uh, plus also Freezes, we should have enough mitigation and survivability to stay alive, uh, so we're also running attack food on top of that. And to the best of my knowledge, the only character that can solo the Hell version of the Red Demon currently is like a fully decked out like you are gear at least like four six the one escanor uh, and even then man it's very very sketchy to do but i'm thinking with all the freeze cards man and also the passive as well for later phases uh should be really really nice here but i'm a bit curious to um uh, see what happens and see how it feels but i think here we've got to go for the uh the silver freeze first turn and also the interesting thing about the freeze um, is we can also take off big chunks of health if it does get upgraded. So yeah, ideally we want like a golden merger would be perfect. But I think this is going to take off like 20% uh, when it breaks out. And yeah, we... Uh, oh, okay. That's really, really good. Um, <laughs> okay, interesting. I think maybe we save the... Um, yeah, I, th I think we save the gold for now. Because I'm thinking, like, the ulti might be able to push phase here. Or do we just, like, throw it anyway? Mm, I don't know what the ultimate damage is going to deal in this fight. So, yeah, let's test it out. Let's assume that we can save the gold. Because that gold is really, really lucky. And, again, going to be so valuable for pushing later phases on top of that. But also, if he attacks twice, he gets frozen himself. Okay, but he's going for the stance here. Yeah, maybe I should have used a uh, smaller freeze. But let's uh, let's test out this uh, damage with the stance here. Okay, it's my first time doing this, man, so I'm not really too sure what to um, uh, expect damage-wise and also what I can get away with damage-wise. Okay, so with the reduction stance, it was uh, almost 200,000 there, 6-6. Six, six. So that's not too bad, man. Yeah, I think I should have definitely, in wonderful hindsight, gone for that golden freeze. I think we'll, um, we just need to build to, like, another ulti in order to uh, push this phase now. So I think let's use the freeze here. And then see if we can uh, top deck a merger here and then merge passively over here. I still want to save the gold because it's super valuable. Okay, that's good. It still doesn't quite get us to all, but I think should be all right here. The good thing is you've got a bit of slack room in phase one as well to build up um, uh, better cards. Just due to the fact that, um, yeah, you don't need to worry about like old gauge or anything like that. I think here we want to just use the um, the softer freeze, and then that should be enough for the ultimate, especially removing this stance, to then push into phase two. And then we can start off phase two with the golden freeze. Um, and that freezes for two turns as well, so it actually gives us um, a lot of time to build up to another ulti. I think it freezes for two turns anyway. It's about 200,000 damage there. Again, immediate. I got so lucky on the KR summons, man. Managed to get a 6-6. Six, six. But let's have a um, bit of a look here. Okay. So I think let's go for... Mm, I think we go for this for now. <laughs> I was thinking, like, do I use this? Um, but I think we maybe, like, break them out next turn anyway. Okay. We need to, like, start dumping some of these cards, man. So yeah, I think we use it next turn regardless. We could avoid taking damage, but I don't think that's something we necessarily like need to actively avoid here. But then shattering it, yeah, deals some crazy additional damage there. So it's good. It's looking really, really good so far. Again, on this fight, she's just like the perfect control unit. I I think also the rollback um from what is it the the pumpkin bombs card applies as well. So. I don't think our passive actually came into play there. But yeah, his old gauge is being rolled back, so we don't need to worry about the ultimate here. However, final phase, dude, I'm thinking if we can. <laughs> Hopefully there's one shots here, dude. That'd be amazing. Let's have a look. Oh, not quite, mate. Not quite. That is, uh, yeah, slightly unfortunate there. Okay, we got golden freeze here. Uh, we can potentially go for that. Just trying to think. Okay, we got the bleed on us. bit more of a heal there. We can freeze for another turn. Because I, I really want to... If I don't have that gold in the final phase, dude, I'm like 
ridiculously clapped. I think anyway. Okay, th there's a pretty good chance we're going to draw into another freeze as well. Then we can just uh, push ulti. Oh, no, we didn't get it, dude. Okay, that's that's bad news, man. That's bad news. I think we just go for this, though. Uh, I need to take the gamble here that we can uh, survive this turn. I think we should be should be all right here. Come on. Come on, Amelia. Hang in there. Have we got one more card? No, we're good, dude. We're good. Okay, this, this should push final phase now. Whew, it's getting a bit tight, boys. It's getting a bit tight. Um, <laughs> right. Let's fire it off, shall we? 120k. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then we still got the bleed on us. So, yeah, I think we need to golden freeze. And then we can just, um, I think, just move around cards. Hopefully, we get, like, a merger or something. Okay, right. Let's go for it. we draw into here man okay um i think for now i'm gonna have to start using the freeze cards i think i'm actually just gonna move this hand around a little bit here let's try and get some uh, mergers on this that's what i'm thinking and then i think we'll go for um this here. I'm just trying to like quickly mer merge away the non-freeze cards. <laughs> okay, let's go again. <laughs> we got up a freeze here. And then we're at ulti. <sighs> Not bad, dude. Not bad. And then this should get us like fully topped up as well. And then hopefully we don't get wrecked in a um <laughs> a single card. <laughs> Come on, man, let's go, Amelia. Dude, we gotta see this ult, man. I, I think it's gonna be one more to kill, but it looks so good against the hell demon, man. Okay, nice. He's so close to going down though, though dude. We are okay, gold as well. Perfect. That's really, really good news. Please don't one-shot me here. It doesn't look like our passive. Oh, I, I think actually our passive excludes death matches. So yeah, that's why it's not triggering. Oh my god, dude! What? We're so low there. That is that is ridiculous, man. Okay. Um. So shattering. I, I don't want to shatter here because I don't want to risk it. So I think, um, actually, if yeah, if, yeah, if we chain on this, this should be good because I still need to dump cards to draw alt next turn. But that shouldn't. Oh no, it kills! Oh, perfect, dude. Wow. So Amelia legitimately one character solos the red hell demon. That was really, really good, dude. That is such a tough fight to do. But that freeze, like even on the bronze, dude, is ridiculously overpowered on Amelia, man. She's got like such a good kit for this demon. Again, it's not really the um. Uh, the sweaty tryhard, like, uh, you know, three turn KO super efficient farming. Uh, but I think it's just like a really reliable control option, man. Yeah, she's really, really impressive. And just to give you a little bit of a tour of the Amelia as well. Again, she's not fully, fully decked out. I did decide to go for uh, four attack and two defense on her. Uh, but again, she hasn't got perfect rolls on the stuff. She's a little bit under that in comparison. Uh, so yeah, if we did have her like fully kitted out, man. Again, that would have been like even quicker to do so the defense stuff is like pretty decent for the most part but nothing um uh, absolutely perfect we got a fair bit luckier rolling the earrings in comparison uh the belt as well we've got some pretty nice stuff but there's still room for improvement there uh and the rune there's like much bigger room for improvement as well that's only like a 13 percent roll on that one total uh so yeah just to show you as well uh, aside from the ultimate being six six like there's a lot of room for additional upgrades plus on top of that i actually don't have any of our cosmetics upgraded um and we're also missing some of them that are kind of locked behind the later bingo event so yeah that's just like a matter of time and getting um 
uh, more bingo draw for that but we're missing this and again none of these are upgraded as well uh, we can have a little bit more health as well uh, so yeah there's there's a lot of additional firepower available on Amelia uh, on top of that as well man so I think she's going to be a really interesting character uh, for stuff that can be frozen in the future and just thinking about it as well man I think this card like would have been really really good for Final Boss Escanor for just like removing buffs and also the ult probably is like your game winning play there uh, how Having like the combination of um, uh, Amelia and also Red Merlin, uh, I think, yeah, it could be really, really interesting for that fight. So yeah, I kind of wish like Final Boss Escanor <laughs> was currently on KR or JP, because uh, I think she'd actually work really well there. But yeah, Amelia, I think even like 1-6 is going to be like a good pickup for a lot of players that do pull her in the re-zero banner just due to her utility man for future stuff. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on Amelia in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.